preheat the oven 425 and get your water cooking this is a very simple easy recipe for meatloaf get your ground beef I got 80 20 and then some uh, sharp cheddar finely ground we're gonna put in some cracker crumbs we're gonna mix that all together real good Once that's good and everything's mixed together, we'll form these into the individual meatloafs. Just take your regular cookie sheet. You want these to be a little bigger than like large hamburger size quantity. You don't want them to be more thicker than about an inch. And you want to just make it like into a little mini meatloaf. Not too thick, about an inch thick. You just do that for every person. As you can see, I make a couple of them a little bit smaller. That way those are for like a work lunch, take with you to work lunch. Or the kids may not want a big serving. The first time I made this, I made the mistake of getting small onions. And I was thinking I got more than enough onions. I had three of them, that's more than enough. And we ended up using this stuff right away because it is so good. And it takes a lot of it to put across the meatloaf. So if you're doing three, make sure you get big onions or do a lot of them. Trust me, you'll think you got too much and you won't by the time you're done. So, for the onions, we're just going to peel them. We have the oven preheated to 425. We're going to toss those in there, top rack. And we're going to keep those in there for 20 minutes and then check them. It shouldn't take more than 20 to 24 minutes. For the onions, we want to cut those just in halves. You don't want too thick of slices, but you don't want too thin either. Just try to cut the whole thing a little less than quarter inch. And just cut the, all the onions like that. Heat your scoop about halfway, throw some olive oil in there, and just get all your onions in there. Alright, heat your skillet up about halfway on heat. Put some olive oil in there, throw those in there. Once they're in there, it's a little bit more olive oil on the top. Pinch of salt. And some pepper. Now we're going to let those cook. We're going to mix them and let them cook. We're going to saute these. It's probably going to take about this many. It's probably going to take about seven or eight minutes. Why the meat is cooking and the onions are sauteing, we're going to take our cilantro and break all the leaves off. Get rid of these stems. Okay. 
Okay, now most of this is going to go to the meatloaf, and a little bit is going to go to the mac and cheese. So just separate it. The meatloaf, you just want to chop it up. You don't want it to be finely chopped. You just want to give it a rough chop, I think it's called. That's probably more than enough for a rough chop. We still make out the leaves. And then we'll use this for the mac and cheese, and this we're going to do a fine chop. Onions are starting to brown real nice. Okay, this is ready. We're going to add about, for those three pretty large onions, we're going to do about a half a cup of water and a quarter cup of chicken stock. Yes, chicken stock. Let that warm up for about one to two minutes, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. We're going to put in about a teaspoon of butter, and about a half a brick of sour cream. I cut it up very small so it would uh, melt quicker. That's about a half a brick of sour cream. And then two large tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna mix all this up, let it cook, and then turn it into like a thick sauce. The cream cheese takes the longest. This process here will probably take another five or six minutes. At this point, still got about another three or four minutes, but you can give it a little bit of taste test. I just did and think it needs just a touch more salt. Not much. We're just waiting for this to thicken now. It's still pretty loose, pretty wet. The meat ended up taking about 25 minutes, not 20, but it smells really, really good. All that juice came out of it. The grease, we'll just let that stay there. These will be nice. They'll be very juicy. We'll show you it in a second. I just did another taste test. Tastes good. It's thicker. We're ready to set up and uh, plate it. Okay, let's go ahead and plate this. This stuff is so good. You just want a little lob it on there. And I'm going to put a little extra right in the front of it for mixing with it. And 
There we have it. It's not the prettiest dish with all the brown colors, the brown onions, but I'll tell you what, it is so, so good. Let's cut it open and show you what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna cut this open, give it a try. You may hear my dog in the background, she smells this and she is going crazy. Very juicy. You see the juice coming out of that meat? That's real good. I'm gonna throw some of that on there. Now I'm gonna give it a try off camera because I don't need you to see me eat. That's very good. It's so sweet. The onions are sweet. They got so many different flavors. This dish is easy to make. For a family of four, I think, depending on sales, it's like $30 to make the whole meal. And it's really good. I'm Clayton with Time to Play TV. Thanks for watching the video. That's my dog. We'll see you on the next one.